Hey, this is Chris from Guitar Me, and in today's daily guitar tip, we're going to be practicing some triads. So in last week's daily tip for triad practices, uh, we were going between the one and the four chord. And it was in the key of A, we're going between A and D. And this week, I think we should take a look at how to go between the one and the five chord and practice going between A and E. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna play an A triad here. This is root position, this is one, three, five. So instead of uh, last week we were going to D, this week we're gonna to go to an E chord, because an E is the five chord in the key of A. If I go A, B, C sharp, D, E, E is the fifth note in an A major scale, and it can be played as a major chord or a dominant seventh chord. So we're gonna go from this A triad right here, to this E triad. And this is basically this, um, it's a first inversion triad because it goes three, five, one, and kind of comes from this major chord right here. So uh, so my advice is just to play it. Let's go from this chord back and forth. All right, so not only do you want to be able to play those, I think you should also practice the pentatonic around those as well for uh, for soloing purposes. So for this A here, we have the A major pentatonic. It's going to go, and if we go to E, we have and that's the E major pentatonic right around there. If you want to get charts for this lesson, there's going to be a link down in the description. I'm taking all my daily guitar tips and putting them over on my All Access membership. And you can get, you can watch all the, the daily tips there, as well as get any kind of charts, audio, anything that needs to go along with the lesson. You can get it over there. All right, that was just the first of three that we're going to take a look at. We're going A to E. But now we're going to go up here and play A here. Where I'm playing C sharp, E, A. And then I'm going to go from this A to the five chord, which is E. This is a second inversion triad because it goes five, one, three. Uh, and this triad comes from this chord. Just a plain old basic E bar chord. So we're going to go from, and we're going to go A to E. And you're going to go back and forth. All right, now we're going to add in the A major pentatonic. And it's going to look like this. Then we're going to switch to E. And then you're going to use um, E major fifth position pentatonic. And then what you want to do is you uh, play the triad and then just play some notes on it. Then play the next triad. Uh, like I mentioned in last week's lesson, don't worry about the timing. I mean, ultimately, yeah, you want to be able to play each triad perfectly and be able to put a quick little fill in there and everything sounds perfect. But I find that students find that very tough to do. Uh, it's hard enough to, to play the triad, remember where all the pentatonic notes are and keep perfect timing at the same time. So I think, uh, I think it's perfectly fine to just play the triad, play a couple notes, play the E triad, and kind of go back and forth and not necessarily worry about the timing. And then when you're ready for that, then go ahead and start. Then start worrying about trying to put fills in there and keep perfect timing. But in the beginning, if you're just learning your triads, I wouldn't really wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, the next triad we're gonna play is we're gonna play an A A major triad up here. It's second inversion where you have the fifth, the root, and the third C sharp. All right, so we're gonna play A like that. It comes from this bar chord. So we're gonna play this, and then we're gonna go to E right here, which is a root position because it goes one three five or E G sharp B. We have this to this one. You can also play it down here. Here's A, and then here's E. I, out of the two, I think you should practice both, but I kind of like this one down here. Sounds more like you would be playing it for chords. All right, so uh, with this A here, if I play some A major pentatonic around it, then if I go to in the E, the five chord, 
I have position number one. So let's go ahead and quickly review those. We have uh, this A to E, then we have this A to E, then this A to this E, and we can play also down there. Once again, if you need charts for these triads, the link will be down in the description. So this daily tip here is just showing you how to play this triads going from one to five in the key of A, but I really think you should do it in all 12 keys by going around either the circle of fifths or kind of any 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 way you want to play all 12 different possibilities. Uh, if you don't want to do all 12 keys, then at least do the caged chords, the C, A, G, E, and D. They're the most common uh, probably keys that you're going to be playing in on guitar. So at least do it in those and then, you know, then maybe go around and do your A flats and G flats and uh, a lot of the flats and sharp keys. Thanks for checking out this daily guitar tip. If you enjoyed it and you learned anything from it, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you get notified when I come out with my next lesson. Um, and I'm now putting uh, a link to the, my playlist for all my daily guitar tips down in the description. Uh, so you may want to bookmark that so you can just very quickly go to the playlist and watch them all. Thanks for uh, checking out this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.